it's Angie. Welcome to day 21 of my countdown to Halloween. Today I'm going to be doing Morticia Adams and this is a makeup tutorial that I uploaded many moons ago but I figured since I have a new camera and better products it would be fun to revisit her. This tutorial is pretty simple and easy to do. A lot of you guys have requested that so I do hope you guys enjoy it and make sure to check back tomorrow because I'm going to be building upon this look. Otherwise let's get this tutorial started. Alright guys, before I start any of the makeup, I'm going to apply a primer, and this is a primer spray from Scandinavia. It's called the Makeup Primer Spray, and it's a silicone-free spray uh, primer, which is kind of interesting. So uh, it's best to really shake this product up, and then spray it onto the skin. Next I'm going to apply a base to my eyelids, and this one is from Urban Decay. It's their Primer Potion in Eden and then blend that in with a brush since I have on these Morticia talons. And I am starting with the eyes today because it's quite a smoky eye and a very pale foundation. So that is a recipe for Fallout City. And I'm not into that disaster today. Now I'm gonna be using the Naked Smoky palette which I think is probably Urban Decay's most beautiful palette. Just look at it, look at it. And I'm going to apply the shade 13 all over the lid from the lid to the brow, because it's a perfect Morticia color. It's kind of a semi-matte, it has a light sheen to it. I'm gonna grab Password from the Naked Smoky palette and start applying that into the crease. And Morticia has a pretty extreme crease that almost reaches her eye brow, so we're going to get pretty close to the brow. And I'm avoiding this area because I want that to be lighter. So you want to relax your face and see where that crease is hitting and adjust where needed. And the outer corner of the eye, you want it to swoop upwards and kind of lift that outer crease. Rinse and repeat on this side. I'm gonna pick up the Makeup Forever Artist 4 palette, which I've used in a ton of tutorials. I really, really like this because it's all matte. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of the black shade with a bullet brush, and I'm going to deepen the crease. I'm gonna focus that color into the deepest parts of the crease, mainly on the outer corner of the crease, to be quite honest. Take your time blending the black into the crease, making sure not to add too much creating a nice gradient between the gray and the black. And if you have hooded eyes, this is actually a really good makeup for you because you're just kind of shading the hood of your eye. To the eyelid, I'm going to apply this color called Armor, also from the Naked Smoky palette. And I want a thin application of this. It's just gonna add a little bit of darkness to the lid, but it's also going to add some shine because there's some glitteries in there. I'm going to place just a teensy more black on the outer corner. I like to stipple the brush into the crease to really pack the color in there. I'm going to pat a little bit of this color called high to the center of the lid just to highlight that center so it pops out a little more. With a makeup wipe you can wipe away some of the overspray. I guess that's what you would call it. From your shadow, get a little bit sharper of a line for that lifted eye effect. I'm going to use a black gel liner to line the lid. And the line's going to be thicker on the outer portion of the eye. And then taper in and get thinner towards the inner eye. Thinner towards the inner. Majority of the eyes are done, so I'm going to go into my foundation. I'm applying Makeup Forever's Ultra HD in Y215. I'm pretty pale, so... This is my normal color and I'm just going to apply that with a wet beauty blender or a damp beauty blender. Won't you take me to a paradise? Underneath the eye I'm going to apply NARS's Creamy Concealer in Chantilly because I like it a lot. And I'm going to follow that eye shape, make sure it's super defined and lifted. Sounds like the intro to Stranger Things, but like the music version. We love ourselves. Sorry guys, I got some sleep last night, so I'm like super singy. 
and happy. I'm gonna apply a little bit of a white cream makeup as well to highlight certain portions of my face just to give it that Morticia glow. So onto the tops of the cheekbones and under the eye, to the tops of the nose, top of the lip, chin, forehead. And then I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender that still has the foundation on it. So it still appears like a skin tone. It just appears more highlighted. If you're not wearing a wig cap, you're not doing drag. To set everything in place, I'm going to use a powder puff and roll that in to the foundation. Go ahead and beat your eyes. Beat it! Once you look like a powdery mess, go ahead and buff some of that away. This is probably my most used palette. It's the Saucebox Etude Palette. And I'm going to contour my face with this gray color here. It's kind of a gray taupish color. And this flat brush. I like this brush a lot because I feel like I can get a sharp contour line with it and blend out really well with it. So we're gonna go for some more tissue contour cheekbones. And I'm just gonna lay down the line first and then I'll blend it out. So once you get that line down, you can start blending the shadow upwards and downwards with that brush. And if you got a little too heavy handed, you can go over your line with your beauty blender. Send my love to your new lover. Hope it's not Gomez. Do you want a little bit of contour in the nose too? So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and lightly run it along the inner bridge of the nose and connect it up to the eye. Now I'm gonna finish up the eyes with a bit of black liner to the top and bottom water lines, which I know everybody loves to see me do this. And you can always use a Q-tip to hold down your eyelid. Uh, it really helps not smudge everything. And you can also smudge a little bit of that black liner with the Q-tip underneath the eye as well. You can wear false lashes for this look, but I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply black mascara. For the brows, I'm gonna use a black eyeshadow and Morticia's shape is very rounded. So I'm gonna start a little bit lower than my natural brow and then bring the shape up and then round it down. Always look at pictures, it helps so much. Since I do have some little brow hairs that are showing through, I'm just going to apply some concealer over those. And of course, a little bit of powder. Everybody is feeling their revving motor fantasy today. And now to the lips, I'm going to apply Max Cherry Lip Liner. So has almost a rounded V shape. So I'm gonna replicate that. And on top of that lip liner, I'm gonna use Starlet Scarlet also from MAC, which is beautiful. It has a little spider web on the package. I don't know if you can see that. So cute. But this is a warmer red, like an orangey red. Should warm up this lip a bit and make it more, more Morticia. With a matte white eyeshadow, I'm gonna start doing a little bit of highlighting. And finally, I'm going to use the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. This is an oil control spray, which is great. And it kind of reduces the powderiness of makeup, especially after so many layers. And again, shake it up just like the primer spray. And spray it on your face. Very fine mist again. It's very refreshing feeling actually. So as you can see, that really took away the powderiness of this makeup, which is good, especially for you know, even beauty makeup, because we're all doing cake face and bake face and baking and, and doing all kinds of things in the kitchen on our face for some reason. But you know, this finishing spray adds a nice sheen to the skin, which is what skin should look like. All right guys, that's a wrap on Morticia. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. You know the drill if you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.
I will be seeing you tomorrow with another look based upon this look that I hope you guys will enjoy. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.